When you think of a bad boy, this is definitely not the fragrance you're going to be thinking of. This is Carolina Herrera Bad Boy Le Parfum. Now I think that this fragrance gets a lot of undeserved hate, probably because of the very, very over the top tacky bottle and probably one of the worst fragrance names I've ever heard in my life, Bad Boy. That hate is undeserved because I think that this fragrance deserves a chance. Considering this being in the Bad Boy line, I think that this is one of their best bottles in the line. It's got that matte black finish with the gold Carolina Herrera logo on the front. It's not plastic sticky and cheap looking like the original bad boy that you're used to seeing. Now this is a tester bottle. I think that the non-testers have the logo right here. It is matte black. However, if you do shine a light up to it, light can go through. So you can actually see the level of the fragrance. You just have to put a flashlight up to it. On the back of the bottom of the stand, it says Carolina Herrera, New York. On the bottom of the fragrance, you're gonna get a little bit more of the information. Bad boy, Le Parfum. This is a 100 milliliter bottle. Here's a confusing thing. This is called bad boy, Le Parfum, but it's actually an Eau de Parfum concentration, EDP. So I don't know why they call it Le Parfum if it's actually an EDP. I don't see a lot of people discussing that, but keep that in mind. This fragrance has a built-in atomizer, which you can just press on the top here. The box is pretty big. You're getting the logo on the top there. Some ingredients on the bottom. The actual box it comes in looks much nicer, but let's get rid of that. Let's talk about the fragrance. This fragrance was made in Spain in 2021, perfumed by three perfumers. Bruno Jovanovic, Fanny Ball, and Nicolas Bolio. Bo Bolio. I hope that's how you pronounce your name. If not, I'm sorry. There's also something in the notes that people immediately hate on before even smelling this fragrance. So let's get into the scent profile. In the top, you're getting cannabis and grapefruit. In the mids, you're getting black pepper, geranium. And then the base notes, a nice leather and vetiver combo that makes this super nice. Now, when you read that there's a cannabis note in this fragrance, you're gonna think you're gonna smell like you just hotboxed your mom's SUV in the high school parking lot and you're going home like, what was that? Oh, dinner's ready? Oh, that's cool. I mean, thank you, mom. I mean, I love you. It smells nothing like cannabis. In my opinion, it just adds this nice earthy, green, herby feel to it. What are you picking up on when you smell Bad Boy Le Parfum? Two sprays. Off the top, you're not getting a lot of alcohol because it definitely has a higher concentration of fragrance oil in there. It can come across a little bit synthetic in the opening because of the way that they're doing their grapefruit. You're actually getting a nice sweetness in the opening mixed with the black pepper. And the leather in the base and vetiver adds this nice masculinity that pushes that fruitful sweet opening in the more masculine direction. The combination of notes here is actually quite nice. It's unique, it's bold. Before you ask me, will this get you compliments? I think that this fragrance is definitely priming itself for compliments. No one will ever have smelt this before if you're out in public. And if you're wondering, I have gotten compliments while wearing this from women and from men who are like, what are you wearing? I've never smelt something like that before. But it can come across a bit playful and youthful because it is on the sweeter side. I don't think that this one would be too bad for an older gentleman. I think that maybe someone in their 20s could totally get away with this. And online, you're gonna read that this is mostly for winter or fall. I don't agree with that at all. It actually has has a nice bright uplifting smell to it that I think is actually somewhat year-round versatile. This is definitely a night fragrance for kind of a cooler night though. You don't want to wear this to the beach or something like that. There's definitely better fragrances. You could wear it on dates. You could wear it out. You could actually have this as a clubbing scent. You're gonna stand out. It's actually a very unique smelling scent. That's not typical of designers nowadays. A lot of designer fragrances are just kind of doing the same thing over and over and over again. <laughs> Now on to the strong point of Bad Boy Le Parfum, the projection, the sillage, the performance. This has actually very good projection. It's around two to four feet. It's loud, but it's smooth. It's not super aggressive and in your face like something like Dior Sauvage Elixir. You're getting around like three to four hours of projection out of this. This has a nice head turning sillage that lasts. After that three hours of far projection, it's gonna come a little bit closer, but it's still gonna give you a very nice bubble. I would say it's gonna push out for the rest of the drink one to two feet for around eight to 12 hours, and then it's gonna die down into a skin scent. I've worn this at night, woke up in the morning, and still smelt it. Performance, incredible with this. I bought Bad Boy Le Parfum as a tester, just to get a little bit of a discount, but I bought it on Fragrance Buy for $97.95 Canadian. You can get the full presentation, full box, everything for around $115 Canadian. The retail of Bad Boy Le Parfum is around $144 Canadian, or $105 USD. It's worth the price. Honestly, 
honestly, I'm super happy that this one didn't get that good of reviews because I can wear it and feel comfortable being the only one wearing this in the room. Now the cat's out of the bag. Definitely test before you buy it because it's not for everyone. Most fragrances aren't for everyone. If I was to rate Bad Boy Le Parfum on a scale of one to 10, Bad Boy Le Parfum gets an eight out of 10. This fragrance gets a lot of unjust hate. Just try it and let me know what you think. If you wanna see another unique, bold, daring fragrance for men, check out Moschino's Toy Boy. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching. I love you all.